Hey, welcome back. Uh, this is the second part of this uh, video on uh, Vue.js and Shopify team. So let's continue our work. In the previous video, we did uh, import our Vue.js here. Let's see how we can add it to our team here. So if I come to my team, currently I have a view extension here. So this is the view extension you have to install. You can go to Chrome uh, uh, extensions and search for the view dev tool and you can install it. This dev tool is very helpful when you are developing a, a, a team for Shopify because it is going to show you all the data structure you have. Also, it will detect any website who are using Vue.js. For example, if I come to the Vue.js, they are not using the Vue.js itself. They are using some other tools. If I come to the Laracast, they are using Vue.js and it detected. And this is it has been disabled by the uh, author and you cannot access any data you have here. So those are the things. Currently, our team does not have Vue.js. That's why it did not detect it even if I refresh it. Do we have added this file to our uh, team but it didn't de detect it it is because we have not included this in our team if i come back here we do not have it here let's include it in our team if i open the layout uh, dot liquid you can come to the team dot liquid this is the master template and this is how they include the temp the script tags here but at the end of this footer here i will come and add my script that i have here this is app.js how you are going to include this one all you have to do is just open a tag here and this is how you can output something right and you can apply some filters to that and it should work just fine it is going to give you the url for that so i will paste this snippet here this is the file name we have here and this file name is whatever it can be for us this is the app.js and it is going to apply two filters to that one first of all it says append the asset url this will append the asset directory url to that and also this is a script tag which it will understand that this is going to be a JavaScript file if i save it for now and my team watch should upload any changes to the team.liquid it did upload successfully now if i come to my team and this time if i refresh my team it should detect that my team is using Vue.js, but it didn't yet so if i come to the source directory here this is my team and let's search for the app.js here this is my app.js and if you open this one sometimes it cannot detect instantly because this is not that much fast so that's why if i search for Vue.js here you can see we have Vue.js and you can search for only view or any function that it, that has the view extension here it should work just fine but for now you can know like you have access to view and everything is fine but if i come to the console here you can find an error here this is the error we got we are getting like view is not defined here so let's see what is wrong here if i come to my team and app.js we have defined view here and this is the name is different that is the reason it is not detecting the view and if you capitalize it with view and now you can see of course in javascript uh, capital and capital letter and a small letter is different that's why when you're writing view with a capital v it is different from view with a small v. v so if i save it for now it did compile successfully and it did upload them successfully too if i refer it this time this time it should detect the view and we are getting another error element test is not defined that is true in our team we said go and search for the test id but it does not exist i will check it change it to app and in my team.liquid uh, i will come here this is the main it has a rule and it has the id of main content how about i make it to the app let's say call it app not main content if i change it to app now our team has an id of app and this is unique and we should not have any excuse to give us an error if i refresh this time everything works fine the detector also detected that we are using Vue.js, except we are getting some error these are common error that happens if you are using Vue.js as a global uh, selector here when you say up here anything that come inside it will be a uh, part of Vue.js. that's why this is not the recommended version as i said in the uh, starting of the previous video i will show you the unrecommended way and i will show you the rec recommended version also 
when you are writing app here in the top we are selecting anything which is inside this one and view is a little sensitive about writing styles as you can see this is the style if you are writing styles in your javascript because it assume everything inside this one is pure html there is no javascript and even if you are writing any uh, let's say directories that are hard coded here or just relative paths is going to give you an error for that and the solution for that is not to select everything at the top and uh, top level what we can do is we can have multiple instances of view here and for any sections that we are using view we, we detect only that section for example if we are using view in our header just call it header and give an ID of header and inside the header you are not going to write any JavaScript file and you are not going to write any CSS file of course all your CSS will be in the SAS directory and if you have a section called mini card and you will create a not header a mini card instance for that this is the ideal way of how we are going to do for example you have a page called login and we have an instance called login login here this is how we are going to create our file of course we are not going to write everything in app.js but that is just to make sure everything is going to work fine if you do it this way this will not uh, show you some error because currently in our page if you check the source code here inside the uh, our file here we have a lot of SVGs here these are all making those errors to happen that's why you can see they have CSS inside the SVG that's the error that's happening do this error is uh, if you go to the production of VJS you can you will not see this error this is just a warning if I scroll up it is red but it is not going to be shown in a production of Vue.js if you run the production it will be hidden from the user but again if you want to avoid this one avoid having a, a global selector for Vue.js if it does not make sense for now it's fine I will explain more in the future videos but for now for anywhere we need Vue.js we will use that one for anywhere else we do not we will not use Vue.js this was the common mistakes I made when I developed uh, my first Shopify team. I was expecting everything should work fine and it didn't. It is working fine, but you will get a lot of error as you go. And this is the ideal way of how you are going to develop a team for Shopify using Vue.js. I hope it has been informative. I will see you in the next video and we will slowly and step by step uh, customize our team and add more features to it.